Hello, Monty. I return to you playing interrogation. You will be deceived. Last we left off, if I remember correctly, we had just, uh, it wasn't, no, the bomb already happened. A bomb had blown up, uh, like, a, an arms factory. And, or did it, I don't even remember anymore. But basically, we figured out that the guy that owned the factory was part of the Liberation Front. And Homeboy, uh, was gonna cash in, check, and also help out the front. Uh, we stopped him, we arrested him, but now we have something going on. Now internal affairs is like on our ass. They think we're doing bad things, but I don't think so. I have Mordecai here. Oh, this good old refreshing evening there is nice. Say, boss, are you sure what we did right there by getting Ennis a transfer? Okay. I remember one of the guys that we uh that we interrogated to called he was uh he got sent to jail with another guy that we also interrogated but one of them was like a higher up and he was basically sending people to bully this guy hello fish ringer thank you for stopping by stick around and he might have usable intel if he doesn't it will be a mistake if he doesn't have usable intel we at least help him escape drasco's bullying well, I'm sure he gets transferred much worse prison. It's the lowest valor for a security level in the state, but I only know that after a little talk. Okay, that's terrible. I'm not gonna do that. Like, just... Homeboy, like, no one should be getting bullied while they're in jail, dude. I mean... Okay, I have different opinions on that, but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, do this first and follow guys later. Yeah. At least let, let Ennis escape Trasco's bullying. Asshole deserves any saving. I mean, the people, the people that are getting caught up in the Liberation Front, they're not all bad people. I don't remember exactly what Ennis did. I guess even the smallest nuggets of info from a low-level guy like him could still be valuable. Yeah, it could be. Well, let's go talk to Ennis. Let's get in the car. Hey, it's Morty. I'm glad you know how to drive better than I do. Ah, this guy. Greetings, Mr. Ennis. Thank you for accepting our offer to relocate you. Do you realize that this offer is legally contingent of on your rating being ongoing? Blah, 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 blah. Fred, 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 my dear Fred, I'm so glad to see your sorry terrorist ass again. <laughs> Damn. I forgot to say you still in one piece. Her prison's been a bit rough on you. Now nah, we're gonna be professional. Greetings, Mr. Ennis. Thank you for accepting our offer to relocate you. You realize that this offer is legally contingent on your aid in our ongoing investigation into the Liberation Front. He nods slightly and then smile. No officer, I'll thank you. Straight old school kindness and understanding hard to come by these days. Yeah? Not wrong, man. So, uh, it's Anton Jasko, the porn producer, was harassing you, right? In prison? Oh, yeah, it's been past me ever since you put him in prison, calling me a stench and rallying the other inmates against me. Hmm. Okay. Snitch, you say? Wow, that's rough, especially in prison. Prison folk don't take well to stitches. Like, this guy, we got this guy, like, wrapped around right our finger, I think. So the nicer we are to him, the more likely that he'll give us more info right now. But let's be nice to him. Yes, this isn't with the report, you know? Don't worry, this preliminary measure will be taken against Mr. Drasco. No, please don't do that. His connection can get to me, even from a different prison, especially if you do something like that to him. Take this proof that I'm working with you, and the last time we got angry, I spent two weeks in the infirmary. Oh, good. Eesh, okay. Well, oh, your life is at risk. It is sad the current prison system doesn't manage to prevent such abuses. Honestly. The failure of justice system, yeah? Only totally right. Hmm. Eesh. Placing criminals together is only a punishment for the least violence of them. It's an environment that just breeds violence and corruption. Oh, by violence, you're absolutely right. Hmm. He has a point there. Are you in contact with the LF since your incarceration? I work with some lawyers in my case, so I think the front's subsidized, but they have disappeared, so not even that. Oh, goodness. You have the name of the lawyer? 
couple of them, but they seem to do this on the order of some senior lawyer or something like that. They always consulted with him on the phone, but then they called him Honest Gabe or something. Okay. Is it common for the LF to subsidize lawyers for uh, its members? I guess so. For example, I know Anton also worked with them. Okay. Go back. How's the food in prison? Diane, a bit okay? How are your cellmates? Cellmate? I don't know, he was a drug dealer from what I gathered. One of those immigrants who came to our country to be in gangs and destroy our youth. <laughs> we don't speak much. <laughs> okay. How you spend your time in prison, uh, Mr. Ennis? I work in the kitchen, doing inventory, keeps me busy, but it's mindless and meaningless work. This comes with minor perks, if you know what I mean. Oh yeah, so, you know, sometimes a couple of granola bars go missing. I understand. Make any friends while you're in prison? Okay, yeah, you agreed to help me with the investigation. Just, sounds a nice... A nice chat, Fred. Come on, let's be friends, you know? Any new LF activities by chance? Very little President Ministry has don't give us a whole lot of access to the news. You regret joining in the LF now, Mr. Ennis? Great end of a prison. Yeah, I'm pretty sure you would. Think about the LF now. They fight for the right thing. Oh, of course, of course. Okay, so how's it feel knowing that someone that's in your, like, like group is trying to make your life difficult, you know? Drasco making your life hot like hell. <clears throat> It shows not only about the ideal, it's also about the people who are working towards the ideal. Hmm. If you give me some more names of the LF members, uh, I can make your sentence shorter. You got anything for me? Don't have any. Maybe the worst snitch ever, but I have nothing. Okay. I'm curious, what happened to Muggy after you went to prison? Let's give him away to a shelter. Oh damn, that's sad. I have to give away his dog. Alright, I plan on doing whatever you get up, Mr. Ennis. I don't know. I feel like I could just go back to being a bureaucrat in the bank. Not after I experienced the absurdity of our prison system. I also don't know if they would hire a convicted criminal, even though they didn't harm anyone. It's not like this makes any any less qualified. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you still have your knowledge of, like, being a banker. Hmm. I didn't get anything out of him. Huh. Hmm. Well, I guess I don't have much else to ask this guy. Alright, Fred. You take it easy. Yeah, I guess we're done here. Hmm. Weird. Detective, this is Elias Hall, Internal Affairs. Oh. My. God. What is wrong with this guy? Oh. Scar across the eye. $20 haircut. Uh, you know what? Hello, Mr. Hall. If you're both ready, heading for questioning. I have my case file ready, we can go ahead. Alright. Look forward to hearing your conclusions after you're done, Mr. Hall. I'm sure you are, Chief Anderson. I'm sure you are. Oh, man. Now, I'm the one being interrogated. You understand why I'm here? Okay. Okay, I don't actually. My team's been performing adequately in all of our tasks. my a affairs bullshit keep me away from important business, I expect. Ethical concerns, I expect. My team and I never get perilous in that sense. Well, it would be an ethical thing. Interrogating is not a nice thing to do. Especially if you know, you beat people up in your interrogations. That you do, that you do. Hmm. Before we dive into the issues, are there any ethics breaches you'd like to declare yourself? Whenever I remember Beno Vice, I had to fuck around 
and lie to my interrogatee at the time. Okay, yeah, I thought so. That's probably what the breach in the breach, breach in affairs. I had to lie and say I was a member. Okay. And our vice has gotten away as a direct consequence of your of your actions. I mean, I did take a risk. There's more there's one more LF member out there because of me, sure. But we did save the factory. Yeah? Okay. How would you describe your leadership style? Autocratic or delegative? Okay. Not autoric autocratically, just a strong sense of hierarchy. I'd say give my agents abundant space to make their own decisions. I mean, there is a hierarchy, because it's not an autocrat thing. I'm not a, not a complete dick, am I? Am I? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay. You're going to accept full responsibility for all the department's actions and outcomes. Well, yeah. Was it your actual intent to help Benno Vice escape? No. It was to save the factory and closer to the LF leadership, which I did. No. Oh, sure, we get advice before King managed to tip him off, or for fuck's sake, are you serious with these questions? Mm. I mean, yeah, we did it to save the factory, let's be real. Okay. Because you can't just have, this have you know, property destroyed, damages. You know, the people inside the factory were innocent, but little did we know they were already evacuated. I said you believe Daniel Wilson to be Liberation Front. <clears throat> okay, not even sure he was, but better safe than sorry. He was manipulating the planning bonds element of her innocence and makes him a terrorist. It's really simple stuff. I'm close to the liberation front. I've talked to over a dozen of them. I can tell who their people are. I mean, Daniel Wilson wasn't. He was manipulated to plant bombs so, you know, for his mother to be taken care of. So much for innocence, I'll prove him guilty. It may have been the wrong answer. You train in profiling. Why say you can't give us a set profile to more easily find liberation from members? Because they have separate wings with differing ideologies and structures, so a single profile can't apply. But you like the very same training, and so it would be very hard for you to understand the answer I give you. The strategy specifically is to address different blankets of society, like in the matrix approach, the ministerial profiles, which we are only now beginning to fully understand. It's a bunch of different wings, there's a bunch of different people that do a bunch of different things, so one single profile is, isn't enough. Very rich understanding of their inner structures. Why is it that you believe Alex Nowak not to be at Liberation Front? Mmm. Hello's disturbed. Whatever he did, he can't be held responsible for his actions. No evidence of wrongdoing means he's innocent. Just can't jail people for association. My apartment's by the book. Because the priest did it, and the crazy had nothing to do with it. It's all in the reports if you bothered reading them. Well, he didn't do anything either. It was a priest. Like that day in the elevator, he was just by the elevator with the lady that was smoking. The priest is the one that did it. I don't like the way this is worded, but just. Yeah, that's basically what happened. I have is because I've read them that this discussion has become necessary. Huh. Why did you offer Fred any support with his transfer? One, to coax him to helping us. I vowed there had to be no risk to society if he was transferred. That I'd love all the fucking paperwork needed for prosecutors to get him moved. I just tried to swamp my department with as much paperwork as possible. I mean, there's no risk for moving him from one prison to another. Hmm. Okay. He's getting all suspicious on me. Okay. Let's talk about your management of this operation. Okay. Certainly. You've alienated and demotivated your agents on occasion. Any comments on that? I... I didn't mean to do it, obviously. Well, being on my team takes a toll. It ain't for the week. If you can't take the heat, get out of the kitchen. Merely drive them to be their best for the team to be its best. That means sometimes making them less happy. Yeah, you can be too happy, you get too complacent, you know. 
You seem to know a lot about what they advocate and in very specific ideological terms. Do you have any context or literature in front of the books? No, I understand the points very in view very well. It's so my job, officer, to understand them. Is it is yours to know you're wasting a good cop's valuable time? <laughs> of course, not all my research and study of their ideology is well documented in our reports. Mm. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, I don't know anybody like that. Just while asking. You spend the part of money on public relations assistance. What justifies such an expenditure? <laughs> I don't need any PR assistance of what justifies spending on PR assistance. Okay. I probably shouldn't spend that money on PR. Oh well. Getting the bullshit press off our ass, the Liberation Rod has resources to make us look like the enemy, and that needs to be countered. Yep, there it is. There it is. Yep. How do you feel about the need to talk to the press? I understand it's necessity. Oh man. I understand it's necessity. So you're really convinced your operations and teams are the good guys in all this? And so far as good guys exist in our reality, I don't think of it in those terms. I'm really doing my job. Absolutely. I mean, I am just doing my job. I work 9 to 5, don't I? <laughs> um, hmm. Just doing my job, dude. I want you, what, why are you standing up, dude? <laughs> Put you and your 20 pound leather jacket away. I want you to understand that all this is taking place as to a step aside, you're not doing more harm than good to this operation, so you need to stop with the fucking evasion and bullshit. I'm not giving you neither evasion nor bullshit, I'm fully cooperating. Let's move this along faster if we can. Only thing hurting the operation right now is you keeping me away from it. I mean, I've been, I've been honest the whole time, mate. Hit me one more question, I got time. Hit me. Kufos, Drasco, Bailey, Adams, Higgs, all these Liberation Fronters opened up to you. Why? Hmm. Judicious use of enhanced interrogation techniques. <laughs> like, he almost looked quite good at what I do. Maybe the leadership told him to. The leadership did, probably didn't, didn't tell him to, obviously. But, do I tell him the truth? And say that I really just use interrogation techniques? Yeah, because this guy is not good at his job. Oh, Jesus Christ! Enough, are you close to the or not? Ugh. Oh, he actually hit us! This son of a bitch! Oh, you are so dead when I get the chance, dude. I understand him well, it's my fucking job. Only for the purpose of assembling this organization. Ironically, I'm making a lot of several procedural and ethical statements right now. Get your hands off of me. Only for the purpose of assembling this organization. I gotta be tough, I gotta be strong. Do you find it acceptable that you psychologically tormented several of these suspects on tape? Yeah. No, I truly regret it. Yes, of course, a bit of mental anguish is worth saving lives. Oh, fuck you is different from what you're doing right now. I need to look like a bad guy here, don't I? A little mental anguish. Sacrifice a few to save more. Some of the people you've intimidated and manipulated were innocent. What did, they deserve, what did they deserve to be treated so? Hmm. They didn't. It's not my fault the LF uh, made them suspects. They'll be fine after a bit of quality therapy, and they get to not be bombed. Free perk on me. We don't know. They were in Liberation Run. We just weren't able to prove it. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, the L like some of those people were innocent. The LF like manipulated them team decided they're suspects, not the front. Hmm. You were way too sympathetic to their point of view in so many of these interrogations. When did you become a fan of theology? They have good points, methods aside. You're insane, it's my job to trick them. Have to appear sympathetic. Of course I'm not. Fuck you, go fuck yourself you total cycle. I wish I could tell them that. But, nah. All this has, all this sympathy has been to make them come to our side so we can understand them. Is appear sympathetic to get what we want from them. I will not. Oh, hey, my table. Hello. I will not be the fool that allowed the liberation front to flourish as a cancer to be spread by an incompetent or traitor's interfit 
idiot who refused to let them in. Listen here, dude. You're keeping me from my work against the front, you madman. Mr. Paul, I need you to calm down. Alright, I confess to whatever you want. Torture, collaboration, front, sure, I did it all. No, Hall, you need to calm down. I'm not one of your fucking suspects. This is my ride. Your eyes switch as they gesture aggressively. Tell me this, are you ready to die for the cause of ending these monsters? No, I'm not a fanatic like they are. We can't just be the mirror image. Yes, my life for thousands of lives that would be otherwise lost is more than a fair trade. Or I'm afraid that LF will win the clash of ideas. There's the future. Hmm. I mean, I'd gladly give my life up for these people to, you know, lose. But... A life lost in a, in a cause is fanaticism. And I'm, not, and I'm not a fanatic. Let's see where you stand then. What do you even stand for in all of this, ultimately? You stand for our order or for destructive ideological values? But I stand for the law, dude. Ultimately, I stand for equity. Just doing my job here, man. Step off. I mean, there's a reason we have laws, you know? And I stand for it. Hm. I'm gonna find this guy's an LF member, dude. He straightened slightly. Well, given all of this, I can't say I have any objections to you continuing to lead your operation. Okay. Hey. Hey, fuck you, I'm going to get you fired. I need to take down the LF. Then, I'm coming after you. I know you did what you had to do here. I'm glad we could settle all this. Ooh, I really want to come after this guy. Yeah, I'm coming after you, dude. Fill out the appropriate forms, let's take things through their procedures. Path we give the terrorists. Good luck. Thanks, asshole. Oh god. <laughs> Did the charges for now. Oh my god, this guy's like the ultimate neck beard. Hate this guy. I want to punch him in the nose, the eyes, the glasses. Just look. Oh I can't stand looking at him. Okay. All right, we did fine. How was it? <laughs> How was it? <laughs> Oh my god, it was great. Hall is a hard guy, but I respect his drive. We seem to be in the clear. Hall is a damn psychopath. I can't believe how he acted in there. We seem to be in the clear for now. Don't know what the hell that was in there, but it doesn't matter. We need to get back to work. Yeah, he's a psychopath. Back to it, everyone. Yep. Thanks, Chief. Okay. Past that. Oh, hey, Joseph. Yeah, I, I guess we can talk. What's up? Coming up on the leadership nearing the end game. Oh yeah, you're probably right. You're not going to get a lot of attempts at cracking them. Chances are whoever's leading this that they're powerful people. Mm-hmm. The Burgundy Riots were supposedly a student movement. Bullshit. Ringleaders using impressionable youth for their own ends. Eesh. So if you do get them, you have to be ready to act. Decisively. They're in the very small window of time that you'll have them. Okay. But what would you recommend I do? They can do so much damage even from inside of a cell. Not that you'll ever get them in jail. They either win their trial or end up off the map. So if it happens that after you get conclusive proof on them, they perish, consider it mission accomplished. Huh. I appreciate your directness and counsel, Joseph. You're not sure that I agree. You're right. Once I have them proven as guilty, I need to say them ended, whatever the personal cost. That is an outrageous proposition. How are you not worried about me reporting you after all of this? Hmm. Oh. I understand. And people can still do a lot of damage even in prison. Hmm. To see them ended, even if they are innocent or guilty? This is where my morals come in. I think he's right. People like that ma manage to, to make a way to come back. They're rich, they're powerful. He's right. I'll see them ended, whatever the cost. Oh god, Joseph. <laughs> Go get him, officer. <laughs> yes, sir. 
Okay. Getting so close, boss. Yeah, we are, Jen. Corroborating everything, mounting evidence, pushing all the LF members we've caught, outside resources. We finally have something solid. One and Alexa Brown connected to travel arrangements are apparently made for the front's top leadership. Rumor on the street is that the front is looking outside the city and country gathering radicals for the cause. Trying to bring together under their umbrella all the psychos ready to kill for the ideology. <laughs> We're heading out to grab Brown. Alright. What's this? Wilson donation. That was requested by the incarcerated Daniel Wilson. Finance the mother cooperation versus mother grads. She's a quick position. I'll do it. We'll do it. Okay. Proven informer. Brief Interpol. By the book. Report Elias Hall. City Hall brief. Volunteer in other departments. Denounce Elias Hall. Rumor mongering. Hmm. Maybe. Definitely want to report Elias Hall, though. Put tab to do rumor mongering. Get Jen a brief interpol, report Elias Hall. Hmm. Organize press conference. Definitely get more intel. Okay, let's do it like that. We'll hold on to the budget we have left. Best boss. Yes, sir, you know it. I got an achievement called Best Boss. Oh, Jen, what happened? We, uh... We found a brown deceased in her apartment. Oh, okay. Parents' suicide, though we can't exclude that the Liberation Front is tying up with vulnerable loose ends. Plenty of LF material around our apartment, but just the usual propaganda. No names. Very unfortunate. This woman was our best route to the leadership. The best one yet. Excuse me? Got these out of a paper shredder. Maybe we can make something out of it. Okay. Oh, I love paper shredder minigames. <laughs> that one. This is gonna take me a bit. Ticket. More than likely it is. This is the leftmost side. Has to be. Thank you. 
Bolaro International Airlines. gonna take me a bit team hold on just organize all the pages here oh hey that was good International Lots of pieces of paper, just Laro International. Somebody's gonna roast me over this later on, I just know it. CC, there we go. Two, four. Oh my god. No, not that one. Not that one either. This one. Thank you. It's all coming together. Thank goodness. Ah, oh, that was a headache. Valerie Arnett, Senior Concierge, Avalaro International Airlines. Arrival, Phnom Penh, Cambodia? The flight to Phnom Penh, Cambodia will provide a 24-hour hotline available seven days a week to connect to Avalaro Concierge Services. The location for Avalaro Concierge Services inside the airport, check-ins, transfer desk, departure arrivals, lounges, heavy flight lounges. 
Customers traveling in Avalaro Signature Cabin enjoyed the following concierge services only on the day of the apartment within the airport environment, check-in assistance, assistance with at-risk connections, customers benefiting from the Avalaro concierge services, Anabali, Dennis Schmidt, Damascus Reed. Some of those names sound familiar. For more information, yada yada yada. We got it. Ugh, my head. <laughs> this is who we're looking for. Head to that plane now and bring them to me. Okay. Sir. Authorities approval, press approval, popularity. Alrighty. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. We see things from Interpol for a contribution. Detailed debriefing. Convinced she has just stepped and started talking to us. Okay. Good job, team. Civity turns into complicity. Eddie Walker. I'm not gonna read all of it. Okay. I think they're all happy with me anyways. Let's continue. She wasn't easy to get, but I'd like you to meet the lovely Rachel Ezra. Hi! You have some relevant secondhand intel about the front for us, okay. Give it to me. I need to be nervous. Okay. Sit down, relax. What can you report on, Miss Ezra? Boyfriend involved in the LF. Okay. Just how do you maintain a relationship like that? You know, if he's part of the LF. <laughs> Complicated, but you don't think he's a bad guy. Okay. What's his name? And that makes it about him. He hasn't done any wrong himself. I mean, all right. Fine. I see. Like, we're out to the front, not him. If we can stop the front, we can stop him too. Okay. How can you be sure he was LF? All sorts of materials around the house, like propaganda and other small clues. How was he recruited? Not sure about that, alright. Have you been involved in any attacks recently? Sure he hasn't, but he won't ask. I think he might be about to in the future, what do I do? Hmm. Honestly, I just tell you to listen to your conscience. But that, that's not good enough. You get yourself to safety, that's for sure. We'll do if push comes to shove. All right. Okay. How do they organize, Miss Ezra? There's this weird chat room he's on. Something to do with pets. We don't have any pets. So I think maybe there. Yeah, I thought so. They're still using that. And where do they meet? This place called Cafe Frigi. It's not his style in any way. He wouldn't be caught dead in such a hipster hangout. I uh, assume so he goes. He goes there to talk about uh, with other LF people. Any names you can give us about these people? No names, but I can tell you that they seem to work in sets of two. There's this guy who my boyfriend gave an obviously fake name that he meets often. I've overheard him talking about their gatherings as pod meetings. Other sets of two seem to have them too. Okay. Well, now we know they work in pairs. All right. Thank you. Miss Ezra. We'll stay in touch. Yeah, well, but have my boyfriend drops the ship before we have to talk again. I hope so too. I don't want him to do any bad things. We're done here. Morty called. The flight the four were on is about to take off. 
He doesn't technically have a warrant, and it seems the air marshals won't let him take all four of them. They'll only give him two, so he can handle escorting them himself. It's, proced it's a procedurally stupid situation, but Morty will need a decision now. You'll have to tell him the two persons you want brought in from the four suspects. I'm afraid I have more bad news on top of that. Well, give me some more, Jen. Give it all to me. Abraham Jamail just called, the top hotshot criminal lawyer, Honest Abe, from the TV commercials. It turns out he's been hired by anonymous parties to represent all of the four suspects on the plane. The moment he's here, you can consider the interrogation over. All we have is circumstantial. He's fortunately coming in from outside of town, so Morty should be able to bring in your chosen two a bit earlier than his arrival. You simply must draw from them some sort of confirmation of who might deliver issue from leadership before he arrives. Fuck. Who would I bring back, though? We should Morty bring him? We can only get a hold of two of them. Hmm. Dentist with no criminal record, flying alone. Quick background check revealed that he recently got engaged. Annabelle is a rapidist sociology anthropology professor scheduled to speak at a conference in Phnom Penh. Works for the exclusive travel agency that arranged all the other trips to Phnom Penh. Well-known entrepreneur and a driving force behind a recent tech business boom. Him for sure. Hmm. I'll take her too. Why not? Alright. Let's do this. Hopefully I made the right choices. Alright. Incident narrative. After searching the apartment of Alexa Brown, a person we suspect has handled the travel arrangements... Oh, excuse me. I'm so gassy today. As handled the travel arrangements of the front's leadership, we identified a flight booked for three people and their company handler, head of Phnom Penh, Cambodia. Without a warrant and insufficient time to obtain one before the flight took off, Mordecai was personally picked up and is now escorting two of the four people on the list back to the police station. All the information points towards them being part of the leadership of the front, or at the very least closely connected to them. The suspects seem to be willing to answer questions, but a lawyer, Abraham Jamail, is currently on his way. It will likely pull them out of question and prevent us from interacting with the suspects until we have a warrant, not to mention pursue potential claims against us for unlawful detainment. As well, when this happens, the leadership of the front would most likely be alerted to our actions. We would lose a vital opportunity in detaining the very top of the liberation fronts. Okay. Dennis Schmidt is a dentist with his own practice. Background checks show a clean record that for a few unpaid parking tickets a few years old. Presently engaged, but his fiancée was on the plane with him. Although nothing joins a direct, nothing points directly at him, we expect LF leaders to be just as inconspicuous and able to cover their tracks as Mr. Schmidt would be. Alright. <clears throat> Nabali. Nabali is a reputed sociology and anthropology professor, regularly holding and attending lectures internationally. She has published numerous studies and has received honorary distinctions for her work analyzing societal behavior in failed states. She is scheduled to be a key speaker at a scientific conference in Phonem. Her international presence will allow her to coordinate front actions abroad, and her connections in academia could be the full the fuel behind the illogical engine of the front. Okay. Well, bring them in. We'll figure out if they're a left or not to get his leadership. Ten minutes? Okay. Greetings, Mr. Schmitter. Should I call you Lady Luck? A much more suitable name for the occasion? Straight to the point. Part of terrorism. Good day. Excuse my calling for a trip, but we need your help with high-level terrorist organization. All right. Greetings, Miss Lee. Should I call you Lady Luck? Lady, I'm the only thing same between you and a terrorism charge. You better cooperate with me. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's be nice to her. We'll start with her. Excuse me, Miss, but we need your help with high-level terrorism investigation. Of course, officer. She'll have my full cooperation. However, first of all, I'd like to know the charges are being brought upon me. And apparently, expected of a leader. Leading a terrorist organization known as the Liberation Front. 
Very strong accusation, one I doubt you can back up. Alright, well, let's start. Okay. Let's, uh, talk about the LF real quick. What's your opinion on the LF? Organization with humanist scholars should study. Mm. What is the main difference between this, between the LF and other terrorist organizations? Does not seem, does not seem they seek the personal acquisition of power, but they want to restructure the social order. Do you agree with their means? Moral judgment can only be made comparatively. Violence is appalling yet historically effective. What do you believe in? Employ effective means well. It's true, what we consider immoral now was normal 100 years ago and it's a whole matter of context. Or moral relativism is tool of tyrants and oppressors. Hit it with that. It was not just empty words, officer. Do you agree with their motives? Their motives are unoriginal, but that does not mean they are not valid. Oppression deserves opposition. Wouldn't you agree? Hmm. Their frustrations are understandable, but many of the members are misguided. That is the truth, honestly. Heard that's what he said about the French revolutionaries at the time. If they changed our world forever, yet they did. Yeah, they did. A couple of kings lost their heads too, but that's nothing new. Heard the front has cut off support for imprisoned members. What do you think about that? Perhaps they trust the members to remain loyal even without support? Yeah, maybe. Okay. How come two people who don't know each other have the same lawyer come to represent them? Simple. I hired him. <laughs> well, so what do you know about the Abraham Jamal, the lawyer himself? Any small things, but what is important is that he has already proven capable of stopping the law from being used as a weapon against the people. Hmm. What achievement would convince you to work with him? Principal man. Okay, strong conviction. Uh, what's the rate he's paying you? You're paying him? I thought I'd be able to afford it. Of course, what field of law does Mr. Jamel specialize in? Litigation lawyer with decades of experience, a true professional who will go along with you spectacularly. Hmm. But why was this lawyer contact to represent all of you? I know that I believe it is important when one has the means to try to stop abuse against whoever it happens. Okay. Lawyers use legal loopholes to keep rapists and murderers away from child, so you understand my suspicion. Only rich rapists and murderers, officers, sadly, we all forced to seek the protection of our rights. Alright. Okay. Let's discuss your, uh, your background real quick, ma'am. We're all activists, officer, whether we realize it or not. Right. Okay. Dedicate your life to academia. Only Hollywood thinks that the path humans end up walking in life is a sudden attention filled, memorable moment. I slowly grew into a different lifestyle bit by bit, just like the rest of us. Okay. Uh, socialism and communism failed wherever they've been implemented. Aren't you a little too idealistic? Crime continues to happen wherever your police exist. Do you abandon your ideals or do you learn to make a better attempt? <clears throat> There is no better alternative to the police. In the case of socialism, there are obvious alternatives. How exactly do you plan on improving upon that? Only massive social and cultural changes would allow for an economy about private property to work. Okay. Oh, sorry, I know you need to justify protecting neoliberal oppressive establishment, but I do wish upon you the lucidity to realize that the biggest criminals are those you're aiding, not fighting. Hmm. Right. One of your books, by the way, the sociologists care to discuss it. Or what conclusions did you draw from it? Mm. Did you have a keen understanding of group mentality, ideological development, and spread? You're a smart lady, you know. Hmm. <laughs> In the tenure of a university, professor cover first flight first class expenses? I'll check my tax returns, please do. You may find amazing how much people can do with their income when they see beyond the lies of communism. You can fly first class, right? Of course. Hmm. Talk about something else. You know what? Let's go talk to the other guy real quick, to Mr. Schmidt. Hey, Mr. Piece of Schmidt. 
excuse my colleague for not doing your trip, but you know, we need you for reasons. Hopefully you have your flight reimbursed. Oh, buddy. You wanna know something? Probably not. These airport, these airlines, they fucking hate all of you. Okay. Yes, we'll make sure to reimburse your flight after you have this question for you. <laughs> you know what? Fuck it, we'll reimburse this flight. Alright. Let's begin, Mr. Schmidt. Schmidt? 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 Tip? I hate this guy. Can we finish quickly here? Then catch the next flight. Okay. Why are you headed to over there? Where's my chip? Sure. Where do you get the tickets for this place? Travel agency, you ever been there before? No? I just choose to go to Cambodia by yourself. Great history, great vistas. So how did you afford to fly first class? We're tired, been staying for a while now. Must be how much a dentist makes. Yeah, you y'all are fucking robbers, my sir. <laughs> Get you some time off to vent the steam, relieve the pressure. You work hard. Yeah, you're welcome. You're welcome. Fine, doing while you were there for your trip. Come, uh, hey, gremlin, stick around for a while, would you? People don't laugh. How come? T how can two people who don't have the? Oh man, I can't talk. How come two people? <laughs> nice. How come two people that don't know each other have the same lawyer coming to represent them? You have a lawyer coming, and they are good. I didn't even know I needed one. <laughs> oh, I like this guy. <laughs> You'll have to talk to the lawyer whenever you get the chance, don't worry. Hey, as reassuring, no problem. Hey, you ever heard of Abraham Jamail? No expensive lawyer. Nope, okay. Why was he contacted to talk to all, to, or to defend all y'all, huh? Don't know, but you're quite grateful. Okay. Let's talk about the LF real quick, dude. What's your opinion on the LF? That's what I want to know. You're quite a splash, in such a short time. Been in contact with any of the members? Acquaintance was saying that they are fighting for change and we're all cowards for not joining. You tell me who they are, they're not so small fish anymore. My fiance? She's been reading their post? <laughs> oh, dude! Your fiance is a terrorist? No wonder you want to go to Cambodia by yourself! <laughs> oh, man! Jeez Louise! Alright, do you agree with their means? You want to feel safe? I understand. Agree with their motives. Motives are irrelevant and think excuses harming others. You're absolutely right about that. <sighs> do you agree with their claims that the world should strive towards an equitable society? Do you agree with the claims that the world should strive towards absolute freedom? Do you agree with the claims that we should tear down the current forms of authority? And with the first one, that's what their actual answer. But yes, we should, but how equitable can it be to so many innocents? Yeah. I've heard the front is cut off to support support to its members in prison. Yeah. That'd make your whole life get a lot easier, right? Get them to turn on each other and stuff. Eh. Tell me about your fiance's involvement with the Liberation Front. This is the juicy bits right here. She just reads their things. From what I know, she's never had any real involvement with the LF. Alright. Alright. Hmm. Are you a dentist? I don't think I was supposed to ask him that. Let's talk about the more the people that were on the plane with you. You know Anabali? She writes articles in all the papers. I would have asked for an autograph, but she was busy talking with the tech guy. The US so he said that Miss Lee and Mr. Reed whispered to each other on the plane. Catch anything else to what they were saying? No, you're not the snooping type. You know Damascus Lee? Noxious tech guy? What about Valer Valerie Arnett? Hmm, okay. Go. Go back to Miss Lee. What about the people on the plane with you? Okay. You know uh, Mr. Schmidt? 
Never heard of him. What about Valerie Arnett? What about Damascus Ree? You know him? Name doesn't ring a bell? But you and Mr. Damascus Ree were having a conversation. I got a witness about it. What are y'all talking about? There's some confusion about our seat arrangement. That was all. Okay, fuck you. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Why were you going to this place anyways? You gonna speak at a conference there? Your participation in the conference is only recently announced and barely advertised. Hmm. Let's ask her that one. Am I in charge of media communications division of the conferences I attend? Are you in charge of PR of your department? I do actually, yeah. Like I hold interviews and stuff, dude. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, I've talked to the press plenty of times, I guess. Hey, okay. but why go to this one so far away from home, though? Okay, which plan to speak about the conference there, though? The title of my talk was Art and Discourse: The Unseen Covalence. Okay. Right. Are you seriously going to preach communism in a country ravaged by the exploits of Khmer Rogue? These are confusing academic scientific talks with religious sermons. How long is the conference gonna last? Last for three days? Alright. Ever been there before? No? So, uh, how do you acquire tickets? Travel agency as one does. Alright. You are. I, I'm, I'm gonna try to hit her with it. See if she'll. Don't say she's a leader or anything. Drop the act right now. I understand you're under a lot of stress. There's nothing to confess, but maybe I can help. I have started this group and I could offer valuable advice on your interrogation. Alright. Let's hear what you have to say. How would you like me to start? How does how does an organization, especially a violent one, fund itself? Private and discreet donations, especially from rich supporters, are the only truly accessible means. How does the organization, the LF, recruit members? The method must involve actions to amplify people's satisfaction with the world, processes in determining correct candidates, and progressive loyalization methods. Hmm. Okay. So write this down, I'll keep going. How do they say united when all the different members had different ideologies? That's my big question. It is obvious you don't really understand the liberation front it does need to remain united and continue functioning. You must make sure any public statement it sends out is accepted by all its members. You must make sure that its cells are isolated to operate independently. You must make sure you to work with heartless killers who don't care about ideology. <laughs> hmm. I think. Uh, it needs to keep its members isolated enough to remain to operate independently? Possible strategy, but ineffective. It must show you not a front. Okay. Mm. How does it plan the future attacks, though? You run to assume all members are violent. Violence is often an issue of a few highly motivated members with large personal network support. So what does a uh, what does this organization do with uh, its members that go rogue? What I've said, they allocate resources to eliminate the potential intelligence leak, depending on how destructive it will become, up to and including assassinations? But how is it led, though? You know how complex it appears to me, I think it's quite clear that it must be led by a small, tight group of highly skilled individuals with complementary backgrounds. Hmm. What happens if party leaders leave? Well, well, it will certainly shift the organization's profile and priorities. Wouldn't these leaders wish to prevent such preservation of their of their organization then? I guess they would, yes. It would go against their core beliefs, the very thing they're fighting for. Hmm. How many leaders would be in an organization like this? Up to three. Uneven to break ties, large enough to cover a wider range of expertise. Okay. A hierarchical structure between them, maybe? A fatal mistake for them. Okay. Let's go back. I need your practical, I need your expertise on organizational structures in relation to a few matters. I already asked for this, damn. Just 
tell me who they are, man. Just tell me who they are. You must understand my plight. Even the absurd situation in which I would be this mythical Lady Luck character, together with the feeling that legally a confession would be my best bet, I still couldn't do it. And now, but if you give me your associates, let's make sure the friend doesn't turn into the very monster you want to fight. I'll do it if you give me no other choice. I deny any involvement with the Liberation Front, but I understand the situation now. For that purpose, I think there are two people who should really talk to. I can make that happen. Okay. I guess I'll take it. Now or never. I actually succeeded. That was an actual success. Wow. Good job, Monty. <laughs> oh, man. I should have realized that dentist was kind of useless. Okay. Today, while pursuing leads pertaining to our ongoing investigation into the LF, Truth and Order Special Unit, uh, officers approach several individuals who we believe to hold valuable information, suspected having ties with a terrorist organization, knew to be connected to the LF, suspected. All these individuals were scheduled to fly to Cambodia, and due to time constraints, our officers found it necessary to delay the flight in order to assault them, arrest them. Arrest them. <coughs> Airport authorities fully cooperated with our requests, and we were able to establish contact. Two of these people agreed to come in for questioning, were apprehended in question were taken by force and given the urgency of the situation were apprehended in question and their input was very valuable at this point no official charges have yet been made against any of these individuals but we continue to investigate this situation Let's read. Hmm. Okay. Let's continue. Abraham Jamail. <laughs> That's the lawyer. Well, well, detective, you had quite the feel today with my clients in my absence, haven't you? Well, what they chose to tell me, counselor? Well, that means you so innocent, I'm sure it wasn't a problem. How exactly do you sleep at night representing terrorists? What did you tell me? <laughs> well, that's quite as a bridge say cheeky now, isn't it? Yes, sir, it is. Double cheeked up on a Tuesday afternoon. <laughs> Last, despite their dismal treatment, I've been talking to Mr. Miller and Chief Anderson here. And because all three of my clients are of completely good intent, the good gentleman and I have reached an agreement. We will not press charges against the abusive police practices thus far. <laughs> oh yeah, because I've been abusive, right? And they will even willingly discuss with you, detective. Perfect. Recorder stays on throughout, or else they leave. I keep it on all the time anyways. However, all of this under the condition that nothing of what one says can be used in their own incrimination, yes? Hmm, mm-hmm, okay. Sign documents to that effect, yes. Wonderful, <laughs> let's get this over with. That guy's a showman. <laughs> oh man. Alright, Chief, I see what you did there. I mean, if we can get if we can get these guys to spill information and they basically get a cheeky out of jail free card, then that's good. We had to sign, given the context, but it's an opportunity. Indeed, the wording allows for a window. They can't self-incriminate. But nothing prevents from incriminating one another. <laughs> oh, 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 damn! Even better, dude! <laughs> you need to turn them against each other. Go get them. Yo, say less. This is all for the marvels. Take down the LF. Yes, sir. All right. 
Although the information obtained has allowed us to track down what we assume to be the LF's leadership, they have carefully covered any trace that might point to them. Our evidence so far against them is unlikely to hold in any court of law. What's more, because of the rush manner of our investigation necessitated by the circumstances, the department has signed a deal with the suspects, jointly represented by Abraham Jamil, in which none of them will press charges for injust injudicious interrogations. In exchange, they have agreed to one last questioning round, with the caveat that regardless of the content of the questioning, it may not be used as self-incriminatory evidence. The deal also stipulates that the questioning must be recorded at all times. The only option at this point is to have the suspects turn on one another. And these people who are who we think they are, they have probably prepared themselves for such a scenario. Okay. Anna Bali, we read her report already, but she is a sociology and anthropology for professor. Okay. 24 terrorism related charges, goddamn. Okay. And we have Damascus Reed. Well known entrepreneur, philanthropist, writer, and business guru. His ability to disrupt markets through innovation and extremely fast expansion has given him a reputation of, as a visionary among his peers. His company, specializing in cutting edge technology and big data, have seen great success over the years. The CEO has been accused of imposing long work hours and creating a highly stressful work environment. He certainly had the money to fund the LF, as well as important connections to powerful people, nationally and abroad. Judging by his tax returns, he has proficient in moving his money around untracked. Last but not least, James Benet. James Benet does not register in almost any database we have access to, does not have a driver's license, does not register as a property owner, has no medical insurance. That's pretty common with a lot of people. Married and has two teenage boys. The only data we have on him is from his service in the army, but most of his files are confidential. We can only learn that he had enrolled in the infantry in his youth. We only know he quickly rose through the ranks before applying and being granted early retirement at the rank of colonel. After that, Benet mostly drops off the radar. When we found him at the location indicated, he was living with his family on a large property in a secluded area in the mountains. His isolation and military training certainly qualifies him as a suspect for the LF leadership, although his motives currently remain unknown. Okay. Bring them in. This is for all the marbles. <sighs> okay. Okay. Let's look at them. Let's start with Miss Lee. We know her already. Nope. For now, Miss Lee. They consult you as an ideology expert. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Imagine that you are... leader of the front. Okay. Hmm. Huh. That you lead a wing dedicated to absolute stateless private property and self-ownership, or triggering the revolution and bring it to total equity. I think the bottom one is more her game. Alright, I can picture it. Okay. What sort of person would lead this terrorist wing? Most likely someone that has witnessed firsthand the suffering caused by inequality, someone driven and emphatic. What kind of background would they need? Anybody. Inequality affects 90% of people. What sort of personality would they have? Open and emphatic with a tough, resilient backbone. Someone with those qualities would make an inspirational leader, wouldn't they? People need someone they can believe in. The leader would use charisma to manipulate impressionable folk, to motivate and inflame folk, or to convince members to act violently. Manipulate. Hmm. 
You can call manipulation anything you don't agree with, officer. Hmm. What kind of connections do they need? Keep themselves connected to people. What would be the motivations to drive behind the actions, though? Fight for social equity. Okay. How would you lead this terrorist wing? Confidence in a palm, for sure. What would your leadership style be? Learning from mistakes of the past, I would focus on maintaining our ideological integrity above all. Oh? And what are you thinking about when you say ideological integrity, though? Non-discrimination, redistribution of wealth, a culture of acceptance that spans all genders and identities. Okay. Uh, respect that. How would you handle recruitment? Make sure our message reaches those who most need to hear it, the disenfranchised. An inspiring persona like Lady Luck. Good example, I assume, of course. How would you handle day-to-day -day logistics? Find all actions, or make a move that could be misinterpreted. What would your goals and objectives be? On a material objective, I would strive towards social awakening as our main goal. Mm. Yeah, a lot of people are unaware of the situation they are in. The hideous nature of capitalism, it busts the sleep of overpriced goods. Tell me about it. How would you work with the other terrorist wings? To make sure this factionalism does not divide or distract us. How would you handle relationships with the other leaders, though? Long-term trust would be essential. What would your view on the autonomy of different wings be? Autonomy is a dangerous thing and fosters divergence. Dangerous thing, but often a necessary compromise. How could you coordinate your actions with those other wings? No action goes against the cause, personally betting each and every one of them. But if one of those wings were focused on absolute private property and state dissolution, your collective views would be incompatible. A difficult situation, I agree. Okay. Let's discuss, let's discuss the real LF for a bit. I remember the deal we signed, yeah? What's your connection to Damascus Reed? Saw common social circles, he comes to my conferences. I assume he comes to my conferences just to argue with me. What about James Benet? Colonel has participated in some military actions in a number of the Asian countries I've held lectures in. Okay. How would you describe its ideology? I think we both know its ideology is not unitary. Multifaceted and opposition. Multifaceted opposition to the main appeal. Hmm. Which means there has to be a great deal of internal tension, no? On the contrary, exactly this umbrella approach would provide cohesion. Hmm. Of all political movements, though, leaders greatly influence the interpretation of ideology by its members. If one falls, you're correct when you think of the communist revolutions across Europe. Yeah? Okay. You think they'd be in a nice, quiet place like Cafe Frigi? Yeah, it is a nice place right here. How do they operate the recruitment process, though? can say, officer. Must be quite a good policy, though, looking at the loyalty of their members. Okay. I'm done with you for now. Let me go talk to Mr. Reed. Alright, Mr. Reed. All I need from you... ...is... ...that you consult me as a business expert today. Now we're talking. As you charge for this, you get a session free of charge. I hope so. You look like someone very intelligent. Okay, who would you be? Hmm. You're the, you're the operations manager of the place. Okay. Let's imagine you lead a wing dedicated to actually perpetuating fear on behalf of the government. No. Uh, you lead a wing dedicated to absolute stateless private property and self ownership. Let's try that. So, Anarch or Lib, I guess. Okay, I'll play. What sort of person would lead this terrorist wing? Smart one, that's for sure. What kind of background would they need? Top notch managerial abilities, kind of personality. 
energetic and hardworking, just like you, right? What kind of connections would they need? Networking is key in all business. Okay. Right. What would be motivated and drive behind their actions? I'm fed up with the state leeching off of us, fat politicians lining their pockets for free while we toil away. How would you lead this terrorist wing? It would be a PR war. The state does not dirty stuff on its own. What would your leadership style be regarding this? Focus on building sustainable structures of leadership. Surround yourself with active and competent people. How would you handle recruitment though? Being support structures for sympathizers that have a plan and want to take initiative. How would you handle day-to-day -day logistics? Surround myself with reports and statistics. Yep, sounds about right. What are your goals and objectives? Step-by-step -step dissolution of the state by replacing your proper, privately owned operators. <clears throat> How would you work with two other terrorist organizations? Let's be flexible and make sure we don't miss opportunities. How would you handle your relationship with these other people? Your competence and actions. With the autonomy that they have. Decide common strategies, no questions about that. How would you coordinate your actions with those of other the wings? Specialize the different wings, each playing their its best competence and delegate tasks accordingly. Okay. Let's think about the real LF for right now. Alright. What's your connection to Anabali? Had an intimate relationship come crazy times in Saigon. Okay then. What's your connection to James Benet? I know him personally, just some old military guy. You ever heard of Cafe Fiji? Nice place to be at. I would describe his ideology though. I'm trying to embody freedom in all its forms. Mm. Their acts of violence are of self defense, aren't they? Couldn't agree more? Of course. How do they operate the recruitment process, would I wonder? Haven't you heard? They post stuff online about it all the time. Ah, yeah. Alright, let's talk to Mr. Benet. Alright, Colonel Benet, I need to ask you about uh, military stuff. Okay? Imagine you're like... The commander of the front, you know? Yeah. Imagine that... You... You want to trigger a revolution that brings total equity? Nah. Nah. Hmm. You want to try to perpetuate fear on behalf of the government. So what a person would lead this terrorist wing? What kind of background would they have? Skill levels are relevant? What kind of personality? Pampered, selfish, blind. What kind of connections would they have? None. You know what? I feel like... Let's change the exercise. Let's think that... Let's try this. Absolute freedom of our laws of states. Freedom? Freedom is nothing. Who would lead this, though? Passion is relevant. Purpose is flawed. Hmm. What would be the motivating drive behind their actions? Lies. Are you really so arrogant as to believe that only you hold the truth? Do you really have so little faith in others to distinguish between truth and manipulation? Oh man, this one. Yes. Personal bias is not automatically discredit one's opinion, Benet. Only a fanatic believes himself to hold our absolute truth. Yeah, people are quick to serve comfortable factoids. Yes, you included. Fuck this guy. How would you lead this terrorist organization? What would be your leadership style? Then do with this. How would you handle recruitment? Wouldn't waste energy. How do you handle day to day logistics? Logistics are a means towards a purpose, this movement would have none. What are your objectives and goals? Dissolutions of worth. How would you work with other terrorist organizations? Futile exercise of the imagination. How would you handle relationships with other leaders? Wasting your time. Autonomy? Of the different wings? Actions with the other wings? Pursued coordination would be very possible anyway. I don't know about the, the real LF. Let's talk about them. 
connection to Nabali, Vietnam. She was a teacher there. What about to Mr. Damascus Reed? A phone was made by a company who owns. Okay. The two partners make an operational pod. That's a military idea. Yours, wasn't it? Through an efficient way to organize. Okay. The rumor has it that the front doesn't support its convicted members anymore. Casualties are expected. Of course. I would describe the ideology of the LF. Useless. Really? I thought the ideology was the main job behind many of its actions. It does serve as a distraction, though. Useful cover, isn't it? Yes, but the front did not get here by basing itself on ideology alone. But the front spends a lot of resources spreading its ideologically charged messages. You're wrong. I've spoken to many of its members, and all of them are. All of them justify their actions through their ideology. Hmm. Let's hit him with the top one. A mistake. How uh, do they operate from the recruitment process, though? Not part of the exercise here. Mrs. Lee wants to have ideological debates at length. Nonsense, but a waste of time. Words that strangle action. Alright. I think maybe I can get him. It's over, dude. Sign your confession against the colleagues. Why would, I, why would I give anything to someone that has never sacrificed anything real for glory? Hmm. Hmm. He probably won't say, give up on it. Okay, what about her? Sign the confession on your colleagues, ma'am. Yep, it's gotta be him. I sacrificed a lot of things, everything to end up here, to purge the front from its malign wings. I'll sacrifice you or myself to get this done. Power. Good. Sign it. Son of a bitch. Hmm. What about if we change the exercise for you? Perfect state of utopian equity. Hmm. Maybe this guy. Let's change the exercise real quick. If, uh, your wing was to bring like a total cleansing of the world. Mm. Let's go back to Mr. Benet. Like burning down the world, a total cleansing. The more important, the more important question is what grows in the ashes. I guess I was gonna have a cafe for EG. Negative to expose or contact should be minimal. Hmm. Oh, he was a teacher in Vietnam. So where would she was spreading the exact ideology you claim is polluting the front today, right? Yeah? Someone like her would certainly harm the front with her proselytizing. Someone like her would certainly try to direct the front's actions as to support her ideology. Yeah, waste of resource, right? She doesn't have what it takes to lead. Give her to me, Bennett. Really? Brave soul. Hmm. Okay. Let's talk about the real LF. Now, Bonet has not the slightest trust that you're loyal to anything other than your own ideology. You know that, right? 
That's not surprising. Yeah. Connections do you have with him? What's the Damascus read? We're now some common social circles, but he said y'all had some great sex in Saigon, though. <laughs> yeah, homeboy didn't keep his mouth shut about that. That, that motherfucker that was supposed to be private. <laughs> Andy Moore needs to know about your relationship with Mr. Reed. Think I know more than enough. Yeah, you're probably right. Let's go back and talk to Mr. Reed, in fact. Yeah, Napa seemed very upset that you, you told me that you and her did it in Saigon. Oh, oh, then that might have been a misstep, huh? Oh, absolutely. I know about James Benet. Hmm. Maybe I can get her to sign. Ray, you don't know what I'm talking about, huh? Yeah, three times in a row. Three times in a row, what? Hmm. <laughs> Give it to me, Benet. Three wins in a row? Oh, good job, buddy. Okay, the similar wing is focused on spreading fear that the government would do. Hmm. Freedom, freedom is nothing. Hmm. Let's change the exercise for you. Let's assume your wing is focused on burning down the world, a total cleansing. Fuck. Okay. A group of kind of connections they will need to maintain. Try to keep people close, keep them angry, and keep them scared. The group can be very unpredictable. Unless you can build a bridge with these people, just blow it up. Personal background would they need? I wasn't afraid of the heat in the scene they've done before. The personality would they have? Shouting time with a hand raised if you catch my drift. How would you lead this terrorist organization? How do you handle recruitment? What would be the goals? The modern man relies heavily on things whose function he doesn't understand. See how angry they get when the water supply stops working for a week? Oh yeah. When people get angry, then what? Then they riot. Uncontrollably, they strike against anything that might be the cause of their misfortunes. I'm sure you see why something like that must be avoided, and usually the first to be put to torture rich, which in this case will be the government. Sure, that may be a possibility. Hmm. How would you lead this terrorist wing? Um. Go back to Mr. Benet. Let's go back on her and change the exercise on her. Hmm. Here we go. What would be the motive drive behind their actions that they would lead like an authoritarian group? Yes, it's money. They might hide themselves behind national security, the lesser evil, and other slogans, but they're nothing more than paid assassins. <clears throat> that sort of greed kind of fits the Damascus Reed, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Greed is also a common denominator for people in high places. How would you lead this group, though? Fear, funding wouldn't be a problem. Recruitment, leadership style. Okay. How would you work with the other, the, the other, the other wings, though? Hmm. 
Let's talk about the real LF. <laughs> I wonder if I can get her to say yes now. Even though I'll be involved, you will not get anything from me. Go back to Mr. Reed then. Ooh, hello. What would your view be on the autonomy of uh, autonomy of different wings? It's not like we would have a plan, so everyone go do whatever the hell they want. We might impede others' efforts by by accident. Hey, you make the exercise cup, but you're probably right. Okay. How would you lead the wing? How would you work with the other ones? Talk to Mr. Benet. Let's change the exercise, sir. Right, maybe a different exercise. It's like the one from a climate crisis. Man can't fight nature. Who would lead this wing, though? Hey, how would you lead the wing? Mm, how would you work with the other, the other wings? Exercise then. Place with no laws and states. What kind of person would lead this place? Here we go. What kind of person would they have? You know, it's I'm self interested, rich, narcissistic. He's like such a good like person, a good businessman, don't you think? This person I would presume would talk to him, sell out the others given the opportunity. But the opportunity to profit unimpeded after state and Action collapse will be more important to him. How easy to cross it. How would you lead this though? Here we go. What would be your goals and objectives? The dissolution of the state, establishing the anarchy of a dog eat dog world. Hmm. A world like that would only benefit the rich and powerful, creative and hardworking. A world like that. If the working class, no, rich and powerful, no? Yeah. That is presumed objective after all. Do you agree such a leader is dangerous though, Annabelle? When you want to prove such a leader to pervert the motives to the front? When you agree that those that believe the front would have been fed such lies? Oh god, I can't talk anymore. When you agree that those that believe in the front would have been fed lies? That type of leader is dangerous, eh, Annabelle? The interior leader is bound to be dangerous, officer. I think I can get her. Listen to me, officer. You're wrong about the LF. We can bring equality and happiness. You know how broken the capitalist system is. Help us end it. Even if I grew, you have to only put Reed behind bars for that to happen. Very well. I will sign your confession incriminating him. Sign here and let history be the judge of him. He'll be a judge of us all. Okay. Let's talk to Reed real quick. I believe he's confessed that you lead one of the wings of the front. Are you not falling for it? Mm. So now maybe we get him. Actually, let's change the exercise. A utopian state. That would piss him off. 
not the professional they need. The speaker of lies, no backbone, unable to commit. Infiltrated agents. What would be the motivation? Hate. The sick man is put down out of love, not hate. I thought so. How would you lead this wing? What are your goals and objectives? Bountiful harvest, endless prosperity, etc. Annabelle tells me that for her, equity implies a culture of total acceptance and tolerance. Of course, that just about would say that. Because what a world that would make us. He yeah, doesn't have what it takes, dude. Give her to me. What? You're kidding me. I have you right there. Hmm. How would you work with the other wings? How would you coordinate your actions? Coordinate targets, propose targets, let others bother with the execution. Of course, mass production facilities that sustain modeling would be avoided to, by a collectivist wing, right? Correct. A flawed approach, but it's not my simulation. Hmm. How would you handle relationships with the other leaders? Lots of talk. What would be your view on a different autonomy? And coordinate actions. You just give her to me already. Oh my god. Alright. Let's go back to Mr. Reed. Let's assume you're looking for an excuse for government autonomy, you know? What's, what kind of person would. What would be behind their actions? What kind of personality would they have? How would they lead this terrorist? Cruel, what's their, what's their goals? What's their objectives? They bring no added value, they are a burden. And all of us cop. Alright. How would you work with the other leaders, though? Change the exercise on you again. Well, the, you're bringing, trying to bring down the world, a, a total cleansing. Hmm. Exhausted a lot of the dialogue already. I have one, but I need the other two. How would I get those other two? Okay. So Lee hates Reed. Reed hates Benet, and Benet hates Lee. I've already got Lee to, to spill on Reed. Now I need Benet to spill on Lee. Let's change the exercise. And let's change the exercise on him. Too fast. Uh. Here we go. What sort of professional background would you need if you had to start the world all over? 
Real skills had no experience, most like in today's youth. Here we go. A boy spends a week in the forest alone to become hard and strong willed. Okay. What would be the motivating drive behind her actions? Hope. What do you mean by hope? That this rotten world can be made into something better than that all is lost. By stripping us of all comforts that make us weak. This apex predator mankind faces. Time is the apex predator mankind faces. Everything needs to be measured. I think I got him. Oh, I got him. The friend will be stronger without her. You understand strength be shown us today and in the past. Join me. We'll see about that, but with a knob of free and you distracted by me, you know the friend will die. A correct assessment? I should have predicted that sooner. Give me the paper. Sign here, Benet, and we'll see that the future holds for us. Oh, okay. Now it's just left to this one. You. It's just you now. Let's change the exercise for you. Start with the climate crisis. Okay. Alrighty. Change the exercise. Focus on the world, on destroying the world. The exercise again. Gotta brute force this one. Ready? gone through all the all the talks <laughs> well, personally you know he's a military dude military dude did you know he treats his young boys like soldiers weeks alone in the woods that sort of thing sounds cruel as fuck I saw a person leads the front, Benet, just about, just think about that. <clears throat> Imagine if we did that to innocence, dude. Given the opportunity, well, there are many fucked up people out there, and he's just another one on the list. I think I chose the wrong answer for him. What the perfect utopian state, man. Perfect utopian state. Hmm. Benet's a monster, and you know it. He will destroy everything you built. The dream would truly free society cannot happen if people like Benet are in position to join all we built, but the front will and most achieve freedom. Even if I agree with you, I suddenly put Benet behind bars. You convinced me, cop. I'll sign, but the front is not your enemy here. Remember that. Sign here, Reed. We'll see what happens afterwards. Oh, man. I did it. I got all three of them to confess on each other, dude. Screw these guys. <laughs> I, I was losing my shit those last 10 minutes. I'm so sorry, but let's see what happened now.
If you need a job, look for me, ho buddy. <laughs> hey, Les. Capitating Hydras. I got him. Book him. Time for the trial of the decade. And decades in jail. Release Lee. Annabas Wing can help him make a better world. Release from detain Benet and Reed. Release Reed. Reed's Wing can help make a better world. Release him and detain Lee and Benet. God no, they're all going in. Yeah. They're all going in. Even if, you know, it comes down to it, they can always just replace another one with each other, you know? Just get a replacement for the missing link. Like, were it not for these three meeting, none of this would have happened. There'll be more people out there like them, but these people have connections. They will worm their way out somehow if this is one of them. It's either all or none. I choose all. <laughs> Sorry guys, but it's just the way it is. Good walker officer and justice for all, achievements unlocked. News is spreading through the ranks of the LF. They were everywhere. Oh shit. <laughs> A lot more members than I thought there were. I actually did it though. Damn. I didn't think I would. I left members getting arrested, I hope. The triumvirate trial of the decade. Name speaker and Professor Annabelle Lee, Playboy CEO, Entrepreneur, Damascus Reader, and Child Colonel James Benet have been identified as the top of leadership of the infamous Liberation Front. Police officials stated that they have gathered completely incriminating signed confessions on each of them. A criminal defense lawyer. Uh, okay. <laughs> well, they're all arrested. That's it for them. Jennifer Reyes quit the force a few years after the completion of triumph for a trial, citing burnout and a lack of alignment with police department values. She retired and maintains a practice as a therapist. Mordecai Fisher was her husband's best man at the wedding. Oh, sorry, Jen. Ab Thompson follows strong focused career as an officer and analyst in the later years of the newly organized Algorithmic Crime Prevention Pilot Project. They continue to keep in touch with those willing to subscribe to their weekly email update stream. <laughs> that's that's nice. But Morty. Morty Fisher never moved up from his position on the force, nor pursued such ambitions. As a father, he focused on his emerging golf hobby and gained significant weight. He remembers the lead detective fondly and often quotes their words of wisdom to his kids. Oof. Sorry, Morty, I didn't want you to get fat. Joseph Ward published a moderately successful semi biographical trilogy of novels about fighting the force of terrorism over multiple generations, spanning from the interwar period into the cyberpunk future. The character corresponding to your generation is depicted as well meaning but over reliant on procedure. Nice. Keith Anderson was hailed as a hero and went on to run the state level Department of Public Safety a few years later. He recommended the lead detective as a successor to lead the STPD. Okay. Kristen Miller became mayor himself 16 years later. Okay, that's cool. Good job, Miller. Okay. <clears throat> Eddie Walker later in life left the journalism career to become Tristan Miller's campaign manager and spokesperson. Okay, good for him. And that's all she wrote. Interrogation. You will be deceived by Critique Gaming. Okay. 
love to make a sequel. <laughs> I like this. It genuinely had my brain racked. And the burnout is real. <laughs> I'm with Jen right now. I've, my brain's all mushy. Too much thinking. Oh, man. Head hurty. <laughs> Like during that, those last moments, like my brain was like going a thousand miles an hour. Oh man, I'm glad I won. Oh wait, those were real people? Huh. Okay then. Interesting. Hmm. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna actually let the credits roll. I, I genuinely like this. These people deserve some recognition for uh for the good game that they made. <clears throat> Ooh. We stopped the LF. That's all that mattered. And I did it surprisingly clean too. Didn't have to actually bash people's heads in or anything. I mean, it's not like whenever I did it, it worked anyways. <laughs> So yeah, I had to reset every time I did do that. All right. Good job to my team too. Morty, Tab, Jen, and Joseph. Yep, that's all she wrote. Well. Finish the game. I'm happy with it. Thank you very much to anybody that was watching. I appreciate your viewership. Don't forget to like, follow on Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok, and on YouTube, subscribe. Uh, yeah, thank you very much for your patronage. Take it easy. Bye.